Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. This is your sister, Aminata Ju from ICM School, Bachelor One Communication and Media. So welcome to Teleecole TV, the educational TV 100% dedicated to education. So today we are no longer at a classroom, isn't it guys? Yes. We are here on a table and then where we will give the floor to the students and then the teachers. So English talk, let's talk. Today we are going to talk about an important and interesting theme which is about the educational system, right? Yeah. So I'm going to give the floor to Mr. Fall, he's going to develop. Yes, you're right, Mr. Mrs. Amina. We are going today to talk about the educational system. And everybody knows that it has become a song, the quote of Mandela. Education is the most powerful weapon we can use to change the world. That is why today we have chosen to discuss about that topical topic and then to ask the questions to students in order to know their position because we know that they are living some kind, some situations at university and they need to share it with the whole world. So our guest today is Mr. Silla. I am going to let you ask him maybe the question. Yeah, but before going far, let me precise that. We got two parts of this emission. I mean, the first one with Mr. Mr. Mandela and then the second one with um, Mr. Mr. Job. Mr. Job. Okay. So Mr. Mandela, he is a question for you. Nowadays students are, I mean, they are fighting for their scholarship more than they are learning in order to earn their life or something like that. So do you think that this kind of things is normal, is beneficial for them or not? Yes, hello Mrs. Amina, hello Mr. Hi. Fall. Yeah, it is a kind of interesting topic when we talk about the educational system. As this question is something that we should mind about because when we say that educational system, we we talking about a whole universe in which there is student, there is teacher, there is a lot of things inside. But when we say that students they are struggling more than they they learning. When you see it in one hand, you can understand that because there is something that we should not understand. Uh, there is something that we should not forget. Okay. It is that our educational system has some drawbacks, and it which, in among them, there are what we call the lack of, I mean, ability of students to uh, to work. Okay. And in our educational system, we're not teaching people how to how to create their own job, how to how to in undertake their life, so that so that they will be able to free themselves in terms of money or something like that. Mm -hmm. And when you see, for example, you can have some. Students, they leave their villages, they come here, they don't have anyone who help them and they really want to learn. But the problem is, if it is not the scholarship, they want to be able to, to learn. And when sometimes you see them struggling or fighting with, with policemen, you, you may think that they are crazy or they don't have any future. But when you live in the campus, one year, two years, you will understand why they are doing so. Okay. From my point of, own point of view, I was not there. I was just saying students from university, they are crazy. What they are doing it is not interesting, it is not good. But when I lived there last year, I understand why they have been doing that. Okay. And I quite, I agree with the fact of going on strike. Okay. But sometimes also we accept they, they may have, they may be wrong uh, while doing some kind of things, but it is really acceptable that uh, students are struggling for what they want to have. Okay, then you think it is a reasonable reason? Yes, it is a reasonable yeah. reason. By there that you are part of the students going on strike because they don't get their scholarships? No, I don't even have the way to throw stones. But my problem is, my problem is when, when you want somebody to, to let something, you must pro propose him something better. Okay. We say that we just stay on our corner saying that they should not do this. But what are we doing so as to solve the problem? Nothing, okay. unfortunately. So, Mr. Mandela, yes. the dreams of students is not taken into consideration. Mm -hmm. So, is it dangerous for this population? Yes. Mr. Hadim said a while ago, the quotation of Mandela that we're singing every day. In educational system, it must build a future. It must prepare the, the future of, of students. And if we are making a, an educational system without taking into account this, I mean, consideration to students, it can be so, so hard. We should, I mean, before doing anything, say what we want, what do we want for our students? 
And if you answer to that question, we can build an educational system. But if you see, it is the opposite that we have done. We have built an educational system without taking into consideration uh, the problem of students. And that's the reason why our, uh, our authorities are making some policy so as to, to I mean, come out to solve that problem because we were just doing learning, learning without practicing what, we, what we're doing. Okay. And it is what lack in our educational system. We should practice. Okay. And it is by practicing that we will be able to work. Okay. And it is what our nation really needs. Don't you think that students today do not accept to suffer? If I take the example of Sheikh Ahmed Bamba, the mm -hmm. way he was teaching to Sheikh Ibrahim Afal how to, how to learn in life. So they was learning and they accepted to suffer. But today we, we just like see students don't want to suffer. When they stand a day long without eating something, they go on the streak and then go on strike, thinking that everything can be solved by stones. Yeah. I may understand when you say everything should not be solved by stones. I accept that. But the kind of suffering, there is, there is what we should I mean, understand by suffering. Of course, there is Shah Ahmad Bamba who used to say, uh, when you are learning, you must be passionate. Okay. So that w what you're learning going, going to I mean, be benefit with you. Mm -hmm. And it is how we should understand that. But not suffering, just for suffering. Imagine the fact of having the scholarship. It is, you, you, it is not something that should be hard. But when people are trying to take it and make it hard, you get frustrating. Mm -hmm. And it is what is not normal. And I have heard saying that your, your scholarships, you use them to, to buy just like a tie and a nice jacket to behave like a teacher. We don't recognize at FASEC the teachers and the students because you're already teachers. But however, however, there is no truth without justice. Okay. And by making the justice, give everybody what he must have. Okay. And what he is doing with his scholarship, that's his problem. But you're doing justice by your own self. Yes, sometimes. And is, 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 it, is it normal for a country like Senegal? But imagine, for those who should make justice are those who are, in, I mean, betraying you, I mean, beating you. Okay. What would you do? But if I scratch your back and then you scratch mine, we, we, we get the, 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 same, the same judgment. No. What I want to say is students should be exemplified in this society. So today, if you talk about students, we may say that the others, they dislike them because of their behavior. They are not, they are not examples. We, nobody uh, wants to model himself or theirself uh, on students today. Yes. Is it the, is it the problem is not students themselves because it is the way that, that we see them. Okay. And I, I, I sometimes tell it to my, to my friends. When you, you, see, you see, I mean, TV, TV in university just when there is strike or when there is problem inside. Yeah. And it is not what it is what we should I mean what we should avoid. Okay. So, uh, university is a way of learning. It is a great empire of knowledge. But when you see them just for, for strike, it is what our mothers who stay at home are just seeing. Fortunately, it is just what they are going to see. Okay. And if they see that, they will say that, yes, mom, our children are just there for strike and they are not good person and then they will not be examples. Okay. But we should come to university to see what people are suffering. Okay. Really, they are struggling for the, for the good, for the, for the better, I mean, condition of the university. Sometimes you may see some, some uh, students, they don't even have tickets to go, into res uh, to, go to restaurant. Okay. And you see them. Sometimes you get you take your own and you give it to them, and it is the social the social aspect of the university. But we never talk about that because it is not interesting. What is wonderful at university? What is university? The what is wonderful at there? The solidarity between students. Okay. I quite appreciate that. You leave your parents just to go and learn solidarity, as if at your family house you didn't. And that is what we call destiny, okay. and we cannot avoid it, unfortunately. And when you say that your de when your destiny is at university, you cannot avoid them. Then you will go to I mean university, but there you will learn how things or how hard is life. And I I I, I myself I learn a lot of things down university. Really, I learn a lot of things there because I saw that the world is just me, but now I understand that others also have part in my life. So I got a question, Mr. Mandela. Mandela. Yes. So. We all know that at the university, you can learn from there wonderful yes. experience, mm -hmm. see? I myself, I live over there and I have experiencing 
lot of things mm -hmm. you see so can you tell me if it is worth if money is worth struggling till losing its life no it is not it is not the case really i i i hate i hate struggling even throwing stones but sometimes what you cannot understand is if you prevent you from eating and drinking you're no longer a human you become an animal but also you become an animal when you think that for you the the the, the money that yeah. uh, should help you to eat and to drink is in the hand of the others if i still if i always give you something to eat and then to drink you become an animal too man there is a kind of versus circle cycle down university and what is amazing in your speech is you don't want to go on strike and you giving them courage yeah you said know. that you want to, you want just like take a stone to go on strike to kill somebody, but you're giving the courage to stu students. I'm not giving and them the courage. I, I I I said it a while ago. <laughs> I, I, I said that I am against the fact of throwing stones okay. because it's going to solve anything. But my wh what what you're saying also is so important. Down university, the fact of sometimes you when I know you will live in university. Maybe when I have problem, I can come to you. And you solve my problem. That's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. But if, for example, do, somebody who leaves his his village down K to go down Tamba, he come down to university. He don't know. He doesn't know any anybody there. Okay. And he just expect from. I mean, what he, all he's doing is just his scholarship that he will do it. Okay. Buying tickets, buying books, buying documents, everything that he that he rely on his studies. And if you prevent that one from having this, okay. do you want him to stay just silent? It can be understanding, but it is not we agree on that. We know we not everybody doesn't agree on fact, uh, the fact of throwing stones, mm -hmm. but it is something that we cannot do because unfortunately our system, when you don't, I mean, jeopardize the nation or the country, they want to listen to you, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. It's the way they hear. Yes. So your point of view is understandable, is really understandable, but I think that we are no longer be. I mean, connect, our opinion will be connected because <laughs> if you think that and he thinks another thing, yeah. yeah. that doesn't matter. So uh, I think that that is the end of this first part of this emission. Mm -hmm. So really thank you for thank coming. You so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.